Hi, I'm Will. I'm the founder of Zenko. So, at uh, Zenko, we help workplaces achieve their sustainability goals. Uh, we're an online store and we bring together a sustainable product so you can buy it all in one place. Um, we started Zenko because we think that businesses have an opportunity to operate more sustainably. And we wanted to enable small yet really important changes in workplaces that could lead to a bigger impact. And I think I connect a lot with this talk because I think you have to be a stubborn optimist to, tr to believe in the fact that these small independent actions you know, by different companies and organisations that we've already heard from today can bring together a real collective change in what, what happens in our society and our environment. Because I think it's very easy to get overwhelmed, especially with the news that we receive. You know, it's like every, every month it seems like we've broken the next most depressing record on whatever it might be this week. You know? like, whether it's glacial melt or heat waves or bushfires, it's pretty relentless. And it's frustrating watching governments be slow to act and as individuals you feel like you can only do so much. But again, I think this is where the stubborn optimism does come in. And I think that if we are hopeful and put the work in and understand what we can control within our own sphere and the things that we can make in our own influence, that we can really create a better world. And that's what we believe in at Senko. And we believe that small choices every day in our workplaces can make a real difference. We believe that because I think we can often underestimate the impact of those small choices for three reasons. One is that as a business or as an organisation, you're not just making choices for yourself or on behalf of yourself. You're making changes, you're making choices that impact what other people are doing, your employees, your colleagues, as well as your customers and other stakeholders that you interact with. That scale of that impact you can have is not just your individual choice, it's in choice for collective action and collective power in that. Take an example of one business, not too big, making a switch towards renewable energy. A simple choice like that is as powerful as 50 households making that decision. And so although you might only be one person in that context, you can make a much bigger difference than what you could do just in it, your own personal life. Second is that small, achievable changes create quick wins that translate into bigger impacts down the line. I think what stubborn optimism is about is to start anywhere because if you don't start, that's not an option. We have to start somewhere and build that momentum and through that we can actually over time compound that impact little by little. And third is in our workplaces, if we can create positive environments in our nine to five, that can translate beyond what we do outside. And if you are that decision maker, that has that sphere of influence around what we can do within our working environment. I think we can also influence what people do and carry away with that outside that nine to five and make sustainable choices beyond what they see. And so I think for these three reasons, when we're faced next time with a decision or faced next time with overwhelming news about the next climate disaster, then we can look towards what we can do. It's not to say that governments and big businesses you know, are off the hook. It's about figuring out what we can do and the people that we can influence and understand that the small choices we can make have bigger impact across the people we influence in our organisations, across the bigger impacts we can make down the line by creating momentum and by influencing people around us outside, not just in your context as a business, but in their personal lives as well. And I think by doing that, we can all, we can all collect, create more stubborn optimism around us and together achieve something bigger. And what we set out to initially. Thanks.